Ba -ba -ba -ba. <gasps> hello, 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 everyone! Happy Friday. Friday! Welcome, welcome, welcome. You guys are here for day five of Maker Bootcamp. Oh my gosh, we Yay! have made it a full week. Five days. Five days. I'm tired. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Which it's been I've the best only, time this is ever. This my second day here. You've been here every day. Well, you were working on some really, really fun things yesterday. Oh, I was. Like, Ooh. you all are going to... Oh, it's so good. So yes. the first of December, we are going to be doing so many Christmas crafts that are styled for our home, and we're going to bring you inside to check it out. Um, so it's going to be super, super fun. But as you guys are tuning in, share with us where you're visiting from. Let us know what you've got going on in your neck of the woods. We are so excited. Lauren, will you pass me my little reference guide? Y'all, Yeah. this is so crazy. Do you guys remember the top of the week when we re revealed that if you sign up for annual best value membership today, you are getting the Cricut, Cricut reference guide. So here's the deal. We, I have confirmed, I've told the team that if you say yes to membership by the end of today mm -hmm. for Sherzy's, you are going to confirm yourself in for a Cricut reference guide. I'm sending that to you, a gift from us to you. Yes. We are so excited. Um, you're getting another mystery gift, which if you've been here all five days. And you've been paying attention. <laughs> we have been trying to Easter egg this little mystery we've been, gift We in. may or may not have been using it. I'll find a reason to use it. My mic is... I is bet my mic is on. <laughs> I'm on. Lauren's going to turn her mic on. <laughs> We're crazy here today. We're too excited. Yeah, sorry. Welcome. Now, now they can hear now you. Now they can hear me. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So I do want to encourage you guys, if you are on the fence, if you have not grabbed a membership, if you have not grabbed Makers Gonna Sublimate, mm -hmm. any of our Black Friday deals, y'all want to go and grab them to get these early bird um, like gifts because yes. these are super, super fun. We love these and we've had hundreds of you already claim it. So go and get it. If you're a monthly member, great day to upgrade. If you are already a yearly member, but not a grandfathered in member, yep. Sadie is in the comments today. Go and drop you that link so you get that extension. Um, Maker's Gonna Sublimate has no coupon code needed. It's nope. $70 off. Confirmed gift, which you get some blanks and you get that cheat sheet. Yep. You get membership today and y'all, you get into the community and you just start going crazy. We added a thousand files yes. uh, just yesterday. So just a little bit to work through for our current members. So the files are so good. They're, they're amazing. I love them. Like we truly have put to the test, like does quantity really not equal quality? Because this yeah. collection is Chef Kiss. Both. Halloween. Quantity. or and quality. Holiday, Christmas, I said <laughs> Halloween, Lord help. It was just Monday that we started this on Whew. Halloween. <laughs> I know. So if you guys have any questions today, it's gonna be awesome. To end out day five, we have really challenged all this week. We went big, we went yeah. bold, it's been amazing. But this one I is so good. Am Not only are we making an ornament, we have, for the first time ever, an ornament box. Yes. If you guys have loved paper crafting from this week, we're continuing paper crafting, and we're mixing it with our true passion, our true love of vinyl. So I'm going to walk you through using quite a bit of design space functions. This is one, if you all are really wanting a good design space um, tutorial, yeah. definitely get your notebooks out for this one yes. because you are going to need to take notes. Yes. And you're going to need to rewatch because oh, yeah. this is one where... This is like when a workout. I was, yes. Even when I was showing Tanner how I did this because... I have notes. Y'all know I like to hacky hack some things up. But this is, again, but you're you, going to get it yeah. and you may sit here and say, Tanner, why did you not make this a cut fall for me? This is one of those projects that I can stand behind and say, if you will work with me, my promise is by the end of today, mm -hmm. you're going to be able to do this. There are a few steps, mm -hmm. but you are here to learn, you are here to grow, and mm -hmm. we're here to inspire you. So this is going to be a really fun one for you to test some of those new design space functions. Yes. It's really not too hard. No. It's a few steps, uh -huh. um, but we're going to do it together. Like Lauren mentioned, you do have the replay. And this is one where... So Courtney and I sat down yesterday and we were thinking, oh my gosh, should we just make this a cut file for yeah. our for our friends? Yeah. Like, it would be so much easier for them if we made this a cut file. But I was like, you know what? 
No. We, we know y'all are smart. I don't want to <laughs> because I want them to be able to take really any Anything. any file that we have yes. and do the same thing. You could do this technique. You're going to keep this training in the back pocket, in the back of your mind yes. for any size, like you could do this for wooden signs. You could do this for yes. way more than just ornaments. So I'm really excited to get to train with you guys today. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Uh, Tracy's got her pen and paper ready. Yes. It's just a few notes, literally. It's so good. Need to get your tiles. Let's go over supply list today. It's all down below. We have tried to link you the cut falls, everything mm -hmm. you need. Um, you're going to need two files from Maker's Gonna Learn. You're going to need just a few supplies. The yeah. tile from Home Depot or from Lowe's is linked down below for you. Um, so you're going to have everything. And y'all, we do have a giveaway winner. So we today we're casually giving away a Maker 3 at the end of the show. Oh, so we're doing two giveaways Well, we, we get I, to announce yesterday. We get to announce the iPad. And then. I literally asked Tanner, can I win the iPad? <laughs> I don't even have an iPad. But, I need an iPad. <laughs> but we're giving away the iPad because yeah. everyone who commented from yesterday, the winner is in, y'all. Mm -hmm. We have the winner. And then at the end of today's show, you've got to stick with us. You've got to stay with me because we're giving away to someone here live a Cricut Maker 3. Ooh. It could give me chills. Not only is it freezing in here, it gives me chills because one of you may not have a Maker 3 right now. Yeah. Or maybe you already have one and you're going to get another one. I don't know what the Lord wants. Um, but someone that doesn't have one, by the end of the show today, you someone will have a new Maker 3. Somebody here is going to have we are so, a Maker 3. So, so excited. It's awesome. What are you guys up to? Happy Friday. Again, the Black Friday early bird deals with these bonuses are not lasting long. Get in while you still can. Yes. Do not wait around. This is like, we want you in here. We want to help you. And the best way to do that is to become a member. Yes. If you've been loving the free content this week, you're going to absolutely love being a member. Uh -huh. You get commercial use license, so you can actually start selling these. And y'all, we've, so I did the math <gasps> with this. Ooh. And really with the supplies. Minimal. Minimal 50 cents is what you're going to have How in this How much top. is the low t Lowe's? So Top. the lows, it comes in a sheet of like 15. Wow. And I'm pretty sure it's like 788 for a so sheet. So it's like of 50 15. cents for a piece of doll. Uh -huh. You're telling me this blank right here is uh -huh. 50 cents. And uh -huh. here's what I would do for a family set. Okay. Yep. If y'all are like, we want to do a family set of this, something easy, simple, all the yep. grandkids' names, mm -hmm. you could slice out a box with a complimentary color vinyl. Yes. Put their name in there. You could sell this as a whole set. You could do a dog paw. You know, there's so many different things you could do to this um, to make a really, really fun project. So for anyone that's like, you know what? I want an easy craft to sell. This one's so fun, so affordable. This is a high profit, low cost, high profit margin craft. So just spoiler. Um, so it's so good. The box is just that added blessing and benefit. Uh -huh. um, so you're going to love it. So y'all are in for a treat today. I cannot wait. Um, and yes, let us know as you join the membership. Lauren's go make sure to try to welcome anyone while we yeah. craft. And I was ooh. pulling up the exact, sorry, not 788, it's 798. My bad. My bad. Um, so yeah, that's awesome. And there's so many. Yeah. There are. This is so good. One, two, three. Actually, there may not be. Yep, nope, there's 15. There, there's, 15 there's 15 per sheet. 15 per sheet. Y'all. Mm -hmm. If we're calling it like any economical crafter, sometimes we go big. This time we go affordable, right? We've yep. been at the dollar. We've done a lot of Dollar Tree this week. Uh -huh. We're in and out with a really affordable, less than a dollar, Lauren. Mm -hmm. This is crazy. So if you so if you let's say you have let's say let's just say you have a dollar in this and say, you yeah. sold it for five five dollars. That's a four hundred percent, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could sell this for a like a set like of these. So multiple people like you could get go from five and sell like four or five, so like twenty five dollars. Mm -hmm. These are gonna be so fun to make and mass produce. So I think you're gonna be really in, like really enjoy the training here today. It's gonna be awesome. I'm yeah. so excited. But Lauren. They're dying. Mm -hmm. Are y'all ready to know who won the iPad? Ooh, drum roll, please. We have the winner, Gretchen Williams. Are you here? Congratulations. Yes, find out. Gretchen, are you here today? We are so excited to let you know that you have won our iPad. So all you need to do, my friend, is send us an email, 
hi at makersgonnalearn.com and we will send you this beautiful iPad valued at I think like 400 bucks. So super, super fun. Congratulations, Gretchen Williams. You're amazing. I'm um, not seeing her come up. I don't. William's Sorry, son. William's son. Oh my goodness. Thank Gretchen you, thank you, thank you. William's William son. son. Love it, love it, love it. You guys are awesome. Well, congratulations, Miss Gretchen. We are so excited to bless you with an iPad. But if you are not Gretchen Williamson, guess what? You stick around you because stick around. you might win a Maker 3. Woohoo! Yeah. I'm so excited. How many friends do we have hanging out with us? Anybody I don't know? know. Anybody know? I can find out. Oh my goodness. 358. 358. Woohoo! What a great group to end out boot camp, y'all. If you have any questions on um, membership or anything that we can do for you today. Remember, if you want to keep this party going, keep the um, anticipation going and the crafting fun, we want to craft with you all holiday season along. I want to get you this Cricut reference guide. We want to get you plugged into Makers Gonna Sublimate. Yeah. So many of you are like loving it. So go get that. Sign up today. That'll confirm you. Um, those free gifts will be coming to your door very, very soon. Now, we um, did have someone ask, how do we know if we're grandfathered in? Yes. You can, um, if you're not sure. Email. You hi email at hi. at makersgonnalearn.com. Yes. Because customer service, as much as like me and Lauren are here, we're two people. Mm -hmm. Let's count Sadie on producing. She's three. Mm -hmm. And there's 358. So on a live show, the comment section is not the best place to get support. If you need the best customer support, shoot us an email. Our team is ready to serve you eight to four, and actually some days it's eight to six. Um, so it's really great. Seven days a week customer support. Our team will help you get where you need to go. Like Claire, am I a member? Honey, I, I don't know. So you gotta, you gotta see, did you join? <laughs> if yeah. you haven't joined, today's the day to join. If you need support, our team's there to, to Mary help Mary also said that she uh, signed up yesterday. <gasps> Welcome, Mary! first of all. Yay! How do I get to y'all as a member? So email yeah. hi at makersgonnalearn.com if you're not sure how you can log in. If you created yeah. a login, you would go to makersgonnalearn.com. Um, there is a login button up yep. at the top right hand corner. Click that. Put in Beautiful. your username, password. If that doesn't work, make sure you email hi yeah. at makersgonnalearn.com. Now, and they will uh, get back to you. Jeanette said, "Can I join Design Make Sell and start it next year?" Yes, Design Make Sell will be having a price increase um, in the new year. Mm -hmm. So if you want the best deal, the workbook shipped to you. Yes. Join now. Use the coupon code DMS for fifty dollars off. We'll send you those workbooks. We have a new make section launching uh, very, very soon. Yes, so, that is a ma the, the make section. I really think here. like Design Make Sale is an amazing, program. amazing program. Well worth its money. Yeah. But this make section that Alicia has created is just rounding everything out. A lot of the objection from a lot of you at home to take Design Make Sale was saying, I don't feel like my crafts are professional. And originally we thought who the, the ideal customer was someone that already felt comfortable selling their crafts. They had the know-how, mm -hmm. but this training and curriculum is going to grow, number one. But right. number two, we can now say, hey, if you don't feel per like your crafts are professional, I got you. Come watch the training, take the training, absorb it, mm -hmm. implement. We're gonna help you do bulk orders, so much in the make section. Yes. Um, and that's a great example of how our programs just grow and grow. So we love it. It's gonna be awesome. You guys are amazing. Yes, Yay. we do have multiple boot camps. Our next boot camp, since we are about to end out, sorry, we're, I'm not actually not sorry. We're, I'm gonna tell you the next boot camp so we can continue the fun. We are gonna do the week after Christmas, which a lot of you are off. Uh huh. We're gonna have huge giveaways. Huge. We're going to go back to the basics because yep. a lot of us have will be getting a cricket for Black Friday, for Christmas. We're going back to the basics and we're going to build some really great skills as well as have a great time hanging out. So Absolutely. that is the week after Christmas starting on, is Christmas on Sunday? It is. Uh, well, we'll be, we'll be here on that Monday. Like we're going to go. We're going. We're going. <laughs> Energizer oh, money. We love it. If I join now, are the booklets left in the deal? So I've confirmed with my team that we are going to get, if you sign up today, you're going to get a booklet. I cannot confirm that for tomorrow. So if you're on the fence, this is worth its weight in gold. And mm -hmm. I'm going to show you why it is in the training. So let's yeah. go ahead and jump in today. <laughs> my friends, we are so, so excited for today's training. Uh, we're on the craft table and I have my Cricut reference guide. And I'm going to encourage you guys to put it on that iPad slot on your Cricut 
whatever machine you have, Explore Maker Series, so good. Keep it by the Cricut. The size is made for convenience. The size is made for you. And in today's training, we're going to go into really building out this file um, and taking it from just a basic um, tile like file and snowflake, we're gonna build something super great. Now in today's training, I'm going to prompt you when to write down certain things if you're taking notes, because I, again, wasn't kidding. I got my notes here, um, so that's super, super fun. But let's go over supplies today because it is minimal and I think you will be blessed. So if we're overhead, this is the tile that we have picked up. This is linked down below, so a direct link to Lowe's. And what I love is you're gonna find a link to the size of tile this is um, at the amazing, amazing Makers Learn site. So we have turned this into a file, and when you upload it, it is the um, awesome, awesome size. So that is super, super good. It is amazing, and we are so excited for that. So I'll talk you through that. You're going to need a sheet of vinyl. We are creating a whole different vibe from our green and red here. Mm -hmm. This is one style. We're going to go and mix all of these colors together. So our box is made from he this. Our uh, snowflake is going to be made from, what would you even call this beautiful vinyl, Lauren? Um, that, I think, is, I'm pretty sure that's tech wrap vinyl. Okay, well, so what I would have, you call this color? Ah, silver holographic. Yeah, it's like really good. Like a matte good. silver holographic Yeah, almost. it's awesome. So you're going to love that. It's going to be good. We're going to work with it today. You're going to need some transfer tape, vinyl of your choice, cardstock of your choice. I have a hot glue gun as well as ATG. A lot of people have asked about my ATG gun. Is it easy to use? I will say this has a learning curve, but if you're willing to learn the curve, you are going to get reap the benefit. I have used an ATG advanced tape glotter since 2010, and here's the deal. I have a video that will walk you through how to change this out. So you can Google how to change my ATG gun tape, and I'll teach you how to do it. Here's the thing, when you look at how much adhesive you get with an ATG gun compared to those small runners that look, oh, welcome Paula to the I membership. I literally was typing out welcome to Paula. Sorry, um, I, I just, the Lord tells me when to The look. Lord tells you to look. <laughs> so anyway, with this, you're gonna save so much money buying an HEG gun and getting these cartridge replacements rather than those small little adhesive runners that feel and look like you have more confidence. All I'm saying, worth the time, worth the sweat, worth the investment, because it'll help you. And it makes you feel like a legit paper crafter. Um, so that's super fun. We have some ribbon. We're going to use hot glue to add the ribbon to the back. We've got a mat. It's really that simple, my friends. It's that simple when you're able to get these supplies together. Your paper of choice. I'm using a scoring stylus to create the score lines for my box. That is awesome. Um, and I'm going to actually reference between our reference guide because our design space functions, oh my gosh, like this book, I, I've tested, I've already testified this week, but I'm gonna yeah. testify again. Mm -hmm. We were about to send these books to the printer and then design space updated. We are an independent organization from Cricut, so like we're not in their back ear knowing when we stuff like this happens. We didn't know what was going on. But look what the Lord did. We said stop, stop the printing, and we um, updated all of this curriculum. So any other provider out there does not have these updates, you are getting these updates. So design space functions are something I'm so passionate about because as we talked about, the more design space grows, the more confusing it can be because of options. Options create confusion. Confusion creates complacency. So if you're confused, you're not gonna move forward. So with us here at Makers Gonna Learn, we're always moving forward. I think having this on the table at your half space without having to pull out a phone, without having to go to a YouTube video, watch anything, you, this is gonna be worth its weight to you in gold. Mm -hmm. So if you're not a member, free gift coming your way. Um, and it's awesome. Amber you know says, what? I am so excited. I just rejoined Makers Gonna Learn. Let the crafting what? begin, my friend. I'm so excited to welcome you back into the community um, for whatever reason. We love to see that. You know, since you may have left, we are giving a thousand cut falls a month. Uh -huh. We have an amazing team to support you. We are excited for 
everything here. So thank you, Miss Amber. I'm so excited. You know, I just thought of this. All Tell of that, me. All of that that I taught you. Yeah. I'm going to stop you at the points. No, where, I know. We're going to reference the and, book. And we're, we're going to go back and, and instead of doing the... Yeah. Instead of slicing so much, we're going to yeah. use some new combined We can features. totally use combined. We can totally still use what we're comfortable with. It's going to be great. So let's jump to the share screen. Yes. Today's share screen, I have quite a bit of my little tools here. Yeah. We don't need near as many. We're going to kind of simplify but, some of these out. Um, so that is super fun. I'm actually going to keep my red. I'm going to leave these. Um, so this is great. I'm going to show you guys how cool it is. When you're a Makers Gonna Learn member, you get to upload all of your files to Design Space. And we've talked about this this week already. What's cool is when you are a member, you download the file, you upload it to Design Space one time, and you get it forever, right? That's so cool. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna scroll through. We can kind of peek around what we've been designing, what we've been doing here, um, just to see like what's up, right? right. Um, so we're gonna scroll down. I'm gonna select my snowflake, because I know I've already uploaded it. I'm gonna scroll down and be like, oh, I need my tile and I need my box. So, so if you click he's... add to canvas, sorry about that. No, go ahead. Um, if you go add to canvas, you're gonna see this is your box. We're gonna do that last. We're gonna start by building with the snowflake and the tile. But if you are like, I don't really understand like what this works looks like, works like, um, you're going to see how easy it is. So once you're a member, you have unlimited downloads here. Um, so it is so, so good. Um, you can see you would download the tile ornament. You would download um, this little Erebus tile here, both of those files. And you can go through. You don't even have to pick our snowflake. All of these files are linked down below. Um, so whichever. Nora just joined. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Y'all have been on the fence all week and you're jumping over. So if anybody else is like, oh my gosh, I'm on the fence. I don't want to miss out. I want the best support. This is the best deal you're going to get. Y'all, get in. So look at all these snowflakes to choose from. They're awesome. I really like this snowflake, but you can choose whichever one. So download it, upload it, easy peasy. Warren, what were you going to say? There were a couple people. I was going to say something which you addressed. Okay, perfect. But there were a couple people that said they have these tiles at Home Depot as well. They do. Yeah. Let me preface all of this by saying, yes, they do. We found they're smaller, though. Okay. They are not the exact same kind. Right. This file specifically yes. is the one, the brand from Lowe's. Yes. And that brand is linked below. And if you go to the Lowe's website, right. it's the Satori. S-A-T-O-R-I. Okay. Perfect. And this file comes in the exact size yep. as those Satori Arabesque yep. files. Now, do you, right, so what, we're, what she's saying, to reiterate, we have customized our box... We have customized our tile file. When you upload those files into Design Space, you are not going to resize them. If you are choosing to get another tile, that's fine. We're here for that. Right. That's totally that's totally cool. But ours is designed to work with Lowe's because they're a little bigger. But here's what I want to let you all know. You will have to measure. You will have to resize. You will have to test. And it is going to be so, so good. So what I'm telling you for the ones that are like, you know what, I'm going to Lowe's, I'm ordering it from Lowe's, anything like that, what I want you to know, do not, my friends, do not let it resize on you. Be very diligent, vigilant, anything like that, um, to leave it the size it is. That's my disclaimer. Are you all ready? Let's take a look. Let's jump in. It is going to be so good. So here we are today. We have our tile in here, and we have our snowflake. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and duplicate this our best tile. We want to have a safety here because we're about to do quite a few different functions with this um, this one. So this is our safety like over here. I'm actually going to change this color so we all know it's the safety one. Um, I'm going to change it to dark gray. That'll be perfect. So this is our safety one over in the corner. Now here's our snowflake. Now first, like how am I gonna line anything up here? Let's move this snowflake to the front. Click arrange, send to the front. Bada beam, bada boom. Love it. All right. Now we're gonna size our snowflake just a little bit. 
So everything fits, everything looks good. Now, that is so, so good. What we're going to do now is we are going to go ahead and do something a little bit different, Lauren. Yeah, that's where this I was is, gonna. This is like, we've got, if you're not paying attention, come close to the screen, you've got to watch. So typically, we mm -hmm. use offset. Mm -hmm. Typically, we do that. Do we need a slice first? We're, no, we're still, I think you, you're still going to want to use offset Heck first. Yeah. And then we will do. Yeah. So, yeah. but what I want to explain to you all is this file, typically, we would do an offset. But we already know it is the exact size of our tile. Okay? So, we're not going to do an offset today because we are going to do a, um, what is the technical term? An inset? An inset. Just an yes. inset. So look right here. Come overhead with me, just so we have a visual. Are you all picking up why we're going to do an inset? This is our end goal today. The tile is going to represent our gray, our gray tile. And then we're going to start building and creating this beautiful um, little decal. So we're going to make an inset. You all have may never made an inset today. All right? If you've never made an inset, have no fear. Let's do it together. So let's jump over. We're going to select our green layer. We're going to click offset. And today we're going to use the hard corners. Typically we use rounded corners. Hard corners. And to do an inset, all you do is you type negative 0.15 is what we're going to use today. So just like that, we have now did our inset. Okay? We're going to press apply. Now we have got our inset. So that just like this, we are going to go and click our snowflake file right here. We're going to change that snowflake file to white. So now that it's white, what we're going to be able to do is we are going to select our uh, offset. Okay? So if we click our black offset now while selecting our white snowflake, let's press command and our offset, we now have two layers selected. Now, Lauren, mm -hmm. this is where with all these new design space functions, right? Let's go Reference over. Our guide. Let's go overhead and let's look around at what other tools we could use in addition to a slice, right? right? Mm -hmm. So we all are very familiar with what slice does. I've always explained it. It's a cookie cutter. It is cutting, mm -hmm. okay? And just like this, I can cut things out of circles, okay? Well, Lauren, we are doing a few different things yes. that are a little bit different. Uh -huh. So at first, I'm really curious, what would it look like for intersect? So what's going to happen? It's, it, that would work beautifully you are still going to be able to get your intersect. So let's show them what that looks like. Yeah, let's do it. Um, but then you are still going to have to go in and add your ends, another inset to get your edge. Yes. So would we want to duplicate the black layer let's first? Let's duplicate our black layer first. Heck yeah, we are. We're going to duplicate this black. Remember, because it's smaller, guys. Do you see this black layer smaller? Does that not look beautiful? Yes, that, I love it. I love it. that size. Love it. Amazing. Okay. okay. So. Now that we have this extra inset, how cool, we're going to select our white snowflake. Uh huh. We're going to press command if you're on Mac and press your green. Nope. Or press your, black. your black. Thank you. Yep. Your black inset. Right. And now come on down to this area where weld was. We now have combined. Open it up. And which one are we going to do? Are we going to do intersect? Yes, you're going to do intersect. <gasps> All right, let's click it and see what happens. Da da da, da da, boom. boom, boom. So normally, let's go back and talk about this real quick. Like this, if we had sliced this, yes, we would have had th two or three additional layers. You would have had four. Layers, layers, period. Period. If you would have sliced, wow. you would have had four layers. So what happens Ugh. is we, if we would have sliced, we would have gotten rid of the outside of the snowflake. Yep. And then what we would have had to done, we would have to come back in and select clean it, it up. Both of the both of the slices on that inset, 
and then weld them back together because we wanted to keep the inset. Yeah. But it's now, a lot. now with the intersect, because you're having a, let's say you Well, have, we don't have to worry for this specific project, right. but traditionally, because uh -huh. we're doing multiple. <laughs> if, if we were doing this project without intersect, there's so many layers. Yeah. But now that we duplicated our intersect, mm -hmm. we're about to align them center. Yep. I'm going to probably change my snowflake back to white. Change your snowflake like, back to white. Yeah, let's go back and do this because what I love is just the amount that it simplified that. Like, it's mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. So now that we're here, we're going to go to white. And now we are going to select our intersect and we're going to select our black offset and we're going to click align center. Okay. So they're centered up. They actually don't look centered to me. Do you see that? They don't. It looks like it could go up a little bit. Yeah. Just click your that. white snowflake and hit the up arrow yeah. key. Yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah. Beautiful. So there you go. <gasps> All right. So we've got this here. Mm -hmm. Now, what so we know function should we be looking at now? Well, right here we don't need a function. Right. We're just making sure that they line up properly. Yes. So now we're going to zoom back out. Oh, yeah. Unselect your snowflake layer. We're leaving our snowflake. Bye, snowflake. <laughs> so we have our off or our inset, the black layer. Yep. Select it. We're going to grab our black inset. And then we're going to grab our green tile. Yep. Right here. Select both. Center them. Look at this. Align center. Now, because we want the edge, if you wanted to stop there and just cut out your snowflake and place it on the tile, you can go ahead and grab it and move it down to your gray yeah, layer. Yeah, like look, this could be, this is you a could fine be stopping point. Yes. This is a total fine, beautiful, beautiful, like, stopping Love it. point. Right? Love it. Like look at this. This is good, but remember here at Makers Learn, we don't stop it good, we go to gray. Right. So if you're like, whoa, this is a lot for me, guess what? This is totally fine. Yes. All right, go for it. Rewatch this. You'll get here. Easy peasy. Now we're going to go back to advanced. our green and black. We're here. We're going to select both of those layers. Yep. You're going to go back down to combine. Yep. And from here, what you can do, I is mean, you can do the exclude. Ooh. <gasps> Let's do exclude. Okay. One, two, three, exclude. Oh, oh. Now and grab, keep that selected. That's yeah. what we need. Yeah. Now select your snowflake. Hi, snowflake. Now you got to go back and select them both. We're going to select them both. Center them. Align, center. If you guys don't use align, center, it's a game changer. <gasps> then go to combine. Well, hold up. We got to look here because it still thinks that snowflake needs to move up a little bit. You, so you need to make sure that your snowflake touches your green layer. For yeah, sure. so look, so see all of these snowflakes are touching around the green layer. <gasps> and then we're going to go Ooh. down to combine. Combine. And unite. Oh, well, they're not well, both selected. Select. Now. Combine. And unite. Y'all. Um, we have, yeah. We, we have, have just literally used... used three of the four new functions today. So are you all who are you, like, let's just come back to me. Come back, like, let's, let's, let's talk. This is a lot. This is a lot. This is the first, I want to just acknowledge, this is the first video here at Makers & Learn. We have made a full craft using three of the new design space functions. If you're lost, that is okay, right? That is okay. It, this right here, the ones that, if you're celebrating, if you're celebrating, you know how complicated mm -hmm. slicing gets. All the extra layers, all of this, all of that. It's a lot. So, rewatch it. Rewatch this. We are all going to get better at this as it goes. Right. And until, until you understand how to use each each of these new functions, I want to give you permission to just stay at where you're at and slowly add one or two. For me, and I'll let Lauren answer too, for me, mm -hmm. the easiest one for me to grasp was intersect. Mm -hmm. Intersect made sense for me 
Mm-hmm. And the others, I was like, mm-hmm. like what? Right. But this project, as you walk through it, as you work through it, we'll see if you continue the way originally through slicing and hacking the system, very different. So, Lauren, what was your easiest design space function to pick up and grasp? Um, really and truly, um, after working with like Illustrator and different yeah. things, like I think that e- we. If you had to so pick one, one Unite. Unite is the same thing as well. It's just undoable. Love it. There you go. You all literally already know how to use Unite. Unite is weld. Yeah. The only difference is you can ununite it. Which Even is after a, you saved a project. Praise God. Like, praise that's God. so good. You can ununite that. that even after a project is saved. Maybe yeah. you've worked on it. You've left it alone. You're coming back a week later. Sure. You're like, I don't want this together anymore. Like, what was I thinking? Let me go and ununite this. Yes. We're yes. divorcing it. We're divorcing <laughs> those two things. It's not a union anymore. Uh, so that was probably the easiest. The yeah. next easiest was, like you said, is intersect. Because that is basically you, when you go to slice and you want that one thing on the inside. Yeah. Then that's Crazy. all you're going to end up with. And I will say the two hardest ones for me, like if you were had me on the spot and you were like, Tanner, tell me why I need to use exclude, win, and subtract. Those for me are the hardest ones that I will have not have trouble. It will take real life projects like this to push me through, to get me to use them, to understand how to do it. And Mm -hmm. it's going to be really good. But this right here, y'all, to recap, simplified the layers, simplified the stress. Yeah. You get to see what needs to be done before you get to see if it worked or not. Right. When you slice, you're like, well, is this, did this work? <clears throat> right. <laughs> so it will be different. I do want to encourage anyone. Alicia has a beautiful, amazing video slowly walking you through design space functions. We'll be adding more support to our members uh-huh. starting with this book. Um, for you all, we'll be using them in real life projects like this one. It's going to be awesome. It is a lot to learn, Marie, but we yeah. love it. And it's awesome. So. Let's head back over to Design Space and take a look at where we're at. So let's show them. I'm just looking at this up here. And, you know, there's a couple areas that doesn't that does, does not look perfect. Yeah, so we have united this. So go and show them how you can ununite this and maybe manipulate oh, that snowflake around Lauren. and try to get it back to where it needs to be. You Lauren, get what I'm saying? I do. So we're so. just selecting the one, that one. Yep. Go to Combine. Look at this, y'all. Are you are you all focusing? Now you Look, can un you not. Guys. Guys. I'm about to undo this and it's like a finished project. Uh-huh. Undo you not. <gasps> and now it's two separate layers again. <gasps> so if this happens to you, because this is one where it could be tricky, go back and select your snowflake. So yes. if they're both are all selected right snowflake. now. Snowflake. Whoa. Nope. Go back to the top. Top nope. one. Look at that. So it's all confusing now, but then look, we're going to click on the offset result. Boom. Mm-mm. Wait, I, let me click on. Here, let's click on our snowflake. No. Uh-uh. Where is my It's layer? on down one, on up one, right, right there. Correct. Oh my gosh. There Perfect. it is. Look now at that. I would use my arrow keys to mm-hmm. move it over to the right. And then. We're going to size it up a little. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Let's just size, size it up it. a just little. A hair. Okay, and then we can move, move it over it back to, the to the left so that they're all touching and then oh, reunite yeah. them again. Well, huh. That is one thing, and somebody did say um, that the center button since the update seems to not be as center as it used to be. Uh, yeah, I, I, agree, I, with I agree with that. It doesn't get center, and honestly, after the update, my offset feature was a little different took me so long. Mm-hmm. I literally, I was making a project and I was trying to add an offset and it was buffering for, for like so five long. minutes. And I was just like, you know what? I don't even need to offset on this yeah. project. Forget yeah. it. Yeah. So this actually, we do have a little here, but the bottom is cleaned up. So we fixed yeah. half right. of the project. But what I do like to see here. Unfortunately, now see if you weld it. If I was it about to it. see if we could weld yeah. it or contour it. So now let's go. We have this file. We love it. It's great. We're going to click on. Hmm, hold on. Let me see. 
let's just like all of this here combined. So we can't really weld it because it's only one layer. Okay. That's interesting. So these are new thoughts that we have to work around. You could do, um, is there another way to offset? Oh, I wonder if we did a small offset, would that fix it? That's a little, mm, it would create new issues, create new problems. Yeah. So this right here, not being able to contour um, in this section, may be something they'll work on updating sooner, um, thinking about and whatnot. Well, the good thing is just looking at oh, that. Oh, someone said merge layers. Let's see what that does. Yeah. So now that we've merged it, we can contour it. Yep, Lauren, I love it. So like, look at this, let's zoom in here. I'm for sure, so we just merged the layer. Great idea. Where have you been all my life? Like this. You're gonna have to scroll over. Well, it won't let me. It won't let you? Oh, It'll let me scroll down. Well, that won't let me scroll sense. over. It's so okay. we'll zoom just out. looking, just oh, look, looking look, at look. it from can, the screen, I can click on it them. looks oh, like there. it's not going to allow you to like contour that those little marks out. That it might just be a little cut, yeah. but it'll still be together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So these are just again new intric interesting thoughts as you you know build your project and do all these fun things. Um, we're gonna scale this down just a hair. And then we get to center these up, arrange, or excuse me, align, center. Um, and that's just for visual effect. Right. So there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Still beautiful, still awesome, and it is so, so good. Awesome. Okay, now we have that. We're going to move on over. Y'all, this is easy, so simple. I don't even want to stress you all out about it. I'm deleting out all of this. Delete. Um, and we're going to zoom in over here. Okay, so let me delete these. This is our box. How many of us have been able to um, utilize cutting and like paper before? Because this is so simple. We're going to hide the green and white layer. The green and white layer is meant to be for extra support of the box. You don't have to do that. It's just extra support of the box, so super simple. I'm going to hide that out. You could cut those in different colors to support, um, super simple. And again, here's our box. Now, we have here um, the lines. So there's two line layers um, here that we need to turn this from cut lines into score lines. And I'm gonna zoom in so we can really take this in here for new paper crafters. If you've never made a box, y'all, this is an easy box to make. It looks confusing, it looks overwhelming. All you need to know right now, these lines are to cut. How we know that? They are, they are straight. Okay, straight lines mean they're cut lines. So let's click on right here. You can see these are all of our score lines. It says basic cut. Go to basic cut and click on dun, 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 score. Look at this, I'm gonna leave it on the screen here. Take a look at this and look at the straight lines, and then you can click on score, and now they're dashes. Yay, they're dashes. Love it. Now, let's look over here. This is what's cool about SVGs, and you get 7,000 of them when you become a member, mm -hmm. and if you love this training, if you love what we do here, you're gonna love being a member. So, great day to join. Uh, Cindy Ann. I was about to say, yes, you can. Because uh, Lauren was just, on a ladder. I just, I was on a big old, <laughs> 10 foot ladder yesterday putting up a tree, wink wink. Oh my god. Gonna be putting up another tree this weekend. Woohoo! So look, guys, we've got our two score lines. Unfortunately, we, unfortunately we don't, there's not a way to automatically assign it to be a score line that we've found um, for you guys. So you that's the only edit you do to the file. Mm -hmm. Now what we wanna double, triple check is that when we press make it, that these score lines transfer over, okay? So look, the score lines are on its own map. That is not what we want. Do you have to have a scoring stylus to make boxes? Not exactly, but you need a scoring wheel or a scoring stylus to make the easiest box. And yes. you'll see why it's awesome. Everybody's saying they're intimidated by boxes. You guys are gonna be blown away. Oh yeah. Blown away. So all we wanna do, select these layers. We're gonna press attach, okay? Attach. Now these score lines are gonna stay right where they are for this project. Let's click make it again. Let's click on the map. Let's click confirm. Come down here. 
look at this. You don't need wow. to weld them. So Annette said we need to weld them. You don't need to weld no. them because then it wouldn't work. Yeah. You just need to attach with score lines and your uh, box like Lauren, basic cut. I have a bad news for us. It's gonna. We're gonna need the twelve by twelve. We need twelve by twelve cards. I stock. will go grab that. Or can you just move it down? You can't. Mm -mm. You can't. No, we only have eleven inch paper, y'all. Okay. This is sad. We we picked out some really cool paper. I'm listen, let me name that color and I'll get one. <laughs> we'll similar. see what we can get. Um, so that is where we're at today, my friends. What do you guys think? I'm going to click cancel real fast and move some layers around, um, just because we can simplify it and show you how easy this is. So um, I'm going to keep these right here this one looks good um, they all look good but we're just going to delete some of these out and go hide these um, do, 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 do. beautiful okay so this is what you should get to you should have your um, you should have your tile and actually we're not even using the green layer guys this is just for reference okay delete this is your layers of your cardstock layer and then your vinyl layer. So the white represents your vinyl, the red represents your cardstock. Are you guys picking up what I'm putting down? It's so good. Will it still cut out the center of the box, Teresa? Yes, yes, it will still cut that out. Are you gonna put acetate on the lid? You totally are welcome to. You are so welcome to. Um, if I was selling it, I totally would. What is the best thickness for paper for boxes? 80 to 110 pound cardstock. Yes, heavy cardstock is the best for boxes. Come on, give you some Y'all, if you're loving, thank you. If you're loving, loving, loving this project, go ahead, drop me a heart emoji and so much fun. Tanner, can you do boot camp once a month? Julie, honey, I cannot. That would be. I wish we like, had the I wish we capacity. could. I wish we could. Five full days of two hour live shows are wild. These yep. happen quarterly. So these are free. They're fun. They're awesome. Um, we do, actually, you're going to get blessed and get one next month too. So you're going to get one in December. Yep. Um, and then we do them and we do one for March, uh -huh. for, National for National Craft, Craft month. month. We d do, a, do summer a summer and a fall and then winter. So yeah, we, we rotate around. So good. So here are our two pieces of material. That's what's so cool about this. Y'all, this is all your material you need. Are you picking this up? Vinyl cardstock tile. Vinyl cardstock tile. Look and at ribbon. all these emojis and ribbon. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yes, the video will be able to replay after the live. Yes. This will say on YouTube so you can go back and yeah. you can go back re -watch and rewatch. Now, for our friends, if you are using 80 pound cardstock, remember that layer, those extra layers the box came with. I would use those to reinforce it a hundred percent. So yes. totally do that. So yay! All right, y'all, let's press make it. Let's bring this together. We're doing great. You guys are such a good group today. I'm so happy to get to hang out with you. I mean, Lauren, they just learned I know. a lot. And they're about to learn more because I'm about to have you show them how they can add a special um, setting for their vinyl because Tech Wrap Vinyl takes a special setting. Well, I'm so excited for that. So it's going to be amazing. So look. I just now, once you pulled that up and I said hey, that's Tech Wrap Vinyl earlier <laughs> and I realized what machine we were working with, I have not added it to that machine. So. This will be fun. Well, we'll teach them how to do it because if this is Tech Wrap and you're interested in learning, yes, this will be perfect. And plus, I really think this is a great skill to have in your back pocket, yes. especially when you are testing different materials. So good. This way you can go in and manually manipulate your set pressure settings for right. your materials. All right, so let's let's just talk about it. So we're at the set base material. Right. So does anyone here say, you know, sometimes these settings Cricut develop don't like not perfect for me. Like you feel like you're a misfit. Well, guess what? Let's share with you how you could do that. Yes. Let's click browse all material. Uh-huh. And there's a small button. Very small. Down in the left corner, uh -huh. it says material settings. Yes. Click on it. Boom. So here you can actually look at all of the pressure settings for every single material that Cricut no has. No way. Right. So if you scroll all the way down to the very you bottom. You want to cut some cashmere? <laughs> I don't think we're cutting cashmere today. Uh, Cranberry, cambra, cranberry. Chambray. Uh, chambray. <laughs> y'all, if you only knew the things I pronounce, actually you do. Um, duck cloth, yeah. duct tape sheets. Just go ahead and scroll all the way down to the Sorry, bottom. Sorry, I'm just taking it all in. You're taking 
<gasps> go down to your add new Stop material. Stop it. Stop it. We're obviously going to name this tech wrap. wrap. Then Beautiful. is this is where you can put if your settings talk. in. Okay. Now, Lauren, I'm going to ask you a question. Right. How do we, as a group, know what the settings should be? Because I did not find this. So if you order tech wrap vinyl, yeah. they send you a little piece of paper. No, they don't. That tells you the pressure and of that course it should we, be on. Of course, we threw it I'm, I missed it. I was like, I don't you need You don't this. need instructions. Toss I've worked it. with vinyl before. Right. Okay. So, so they say that their normal vinyl, see, I always cut it. I actually cut it on something, I can't remember what I cut it on with more pressure, and it at times would cut beautifully, at mm -hmm. other times would not. I think so, it's machine dependent. It is machine dependent. This is one way that you can ensure that your yeah. machine is the same every time. Okay, so what number? 185. 185 not We're setting above. it, well, they say you can set it between, there's like, you know, 10 pound or 10 whatever yeah. PSIs that you can set yes. it between. Okay. I found the sweet spot was 185. I love that. So let's click save. Uh huh. <gasps> now they do have a different setting for their glitter. You all, I think it's like up read in the 200s. Your, read your material. Read when your you material, get it. the stuff that they send you with material. So, so now I'm going to click browse go. and I'm going to look. Can we search? You can tech? search tech <gasps> wrap. I, I, yeah, guys, I added that. I'm going like, to give it a little star. Like, you added that. Boom. We added that. Lauren, blessing the group today. How about it? I'm just I'm just trying to bring my blessings forward. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's look at the Cricut. Um, if you have a Cricut Maker, it'll be a Cricut button. If you have a Explorer or Maker 3, um, it's a play button. Press that. Look at this beautiful reference guide. Y'all, after all of this design space training, are you all like, okay, like, have we validated how amazing we are? Do we have any newbies here? Like, how interesting is it when you find a YouTube channel, you fall in love, and you're like, do I go all in today? I went all in today for a membership, mm -hmm. not my own. <laughs> and it really took me a long time to be like, you know what, I trust this company um, and things like that. So if you're here and you're like, ah, love the free stuff, I don't know if the, if the membership's really worth it, let us know here in the comments. I would love to talk to you. I would love to help you and serve you. So let me know. Um, we'd love to help answer any of your questions. If you're new, um, let me know. Um, I'm new this week, newbie, newbie. Rookie Yay! here, joined Monday. Yay! Went all in today. Woohoo! One thing I, I do want it. to address First is time, hey Tina. I don't want you guys to feel overwhelmed with this. This, I mean, it it's, can be overwhelming. Yeah. But we have used a lot of new functions today. Yes. We have added new materials. Yes really on a simple project, but oh, these yeah. things are things it's that... It's the functions. It's the functions that you keep in your back pocket that is going to make popping these out so much better. So definitely make sure that you go back, watch that replay, yeah. watch write replay. it down. And I want and I want to just reiterate, yesterday I um, encouraged, if you're a member, to make one project at minimum from boot camp. And if you post the project by... Sunday, I'm picking one person in the Facebook group to take home a $100 uh, Amazon gift card. So that's for you oh, that's going new. and making, yeah, I made it new yesterday. Yeah. We're picking someone that submits a project. I want to give a shout out. Jan Franklin made an amazing Christmas countdown. It looks so good. I saw that. We love it. Love um, it. So I want you to try this project. It is under a dollar. You cannot tell me you can't do it. Go to Lowe's, make it happen make a variation of it. You could even, guys, we give you the the base layer. So like, let's say, let's say your objection to me right now is that I don't have a Lowe's tanner, I can't have it. Y'all, you can make this with cardstock, chipboard, anything, because we have this as a cut fall. You don't mm -hmm. need this. You don't need the top. You can merge the vinyl onto cardstock, mm -hmm. vinyl onto chipboard, mm -hmm. so much fun. Yay, I love it. You guys are awesome. Such a great group today. So somebody did ask on the scoring yes. wheel when to use the double versus single. For this one, I would use the single. It would be single. Now, I notice even though I have the option to use a scoring wheel, even though I do own a scoring wheel, I actually prefer a stylus because the stylus can go in clamp A. The scoring wheel has to share clamp B. So that's and, just personal preference. And the stylus works with the Explore or the Maker yes. series. And it's more and affordable. And it's a lot cheaper. <laughs> I mean, it's a no-brainer. So here we are on our next material. Um, first of all, since this is on the mat, if you're new here, which we have a lot of newbies, um, I always cut 
or I weed on the mat. So let me just teach you this process. This is worth its weight in gold. This is your third hand. Your Cricut mat is your third hand to allow you to weed better. So I cut the excess off. Look at all the spinal we've saved. This will be on another project. And Lauren is the queen at saving. Mm -hmm. uh, so she will for sure find other uses for this. You no better worry. believe it. Now, look at this. It's holding the vinyl down and we're able to weed. Oh my gosh, it did cut like butter. I'm telling you. I didn't burnish. A lot of times I do burnish, but I wanted to test the settings. I'm telling you. It's those so, settings make the difference. Look, if we burnish, you know, before we start weeding, if we burnish, I mean, this new burnishing tool is beautiful. <laughs> it's just so good. Okay. It actually feels a little bit different. So this has a different finish than our other one. I have a pink one from someone else. This one's <laughs> a little bit different. So you're going to really enjoy it uh, yeah. for anyone that's joining the membership. So you're really going to enjoy that burnishing tool. Yeah, you are. When you join the membership when today. When you join the membership. We love it. You guys are awesome. That is That could be your mystery gift today. Wink, wink. Okay, go ahead and tell them. <laughs> I said could. Okay. I'm not, I'm not agreeing to nothing. Okay. Because you never know. Right? Like, look at this. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Why is my weeding so crazy today? This tech wrap is like a different animal, dude. Like, it's it's different. But the yep. color is cool. That's why, like, I feel like that's why so many people, and we love the tech wrap, because they, they offer so many different colors. Yeah. It did take us a minute. Y'all, at first, so we did a tech wrap, um, I guess, like first little impression. first impression video a while ago. And I, the same day we did that, I found... Um, was it before or after the live? It was during the live oh, that I found it. Because when I, we started the live, I'm like, you know what? It doesn't give me consistent cuts. That's so yada, funny. yada, yada. I found that piece of paper and I put those settings and I'm like... Mm, I this just like put butter. my foot in my mouth. Yeah. Uh, yep. I had a lot of crow to eat that day. Yeah. That's one of the things, like, this year, like, through COVID, I guess there was just not a lot of innovation. Like, companies couldn't innovate. So, this summer, there was a lot of new ideas. And, y'all, we're a small but mighty team. Mm -hmm. So, to test all of these things and to know, like, all of these trends that you all ask us about, like, it does take a lot. But that's part of what we love to do is to find and give you, to save you the time, because that's what it's about. Like, we get to craft, we're blessed to get to craft, you know, probably more than you, right? Like, we are full-time crafters. Right. But, here's the deal. If you don't get to craft full-time, we help you get the most out of when you can craft, which is so important, um, which is why the membership is worth its weight in gold. Because when you're a member, you get all the high quality, you know, things, the cut balls, the fonts, commercial license, et cetera. Um, so what does that look like? That means when you craft for an hour, when you're a member, it's probably like crafting for two or three because you're not having to guess what kind of project you're going to make. You're not having to go on Etsy to buy a file and spend five to six dollars. You get unlimited downloads. And if you go yearly today, guess what? You're going to get the lowest price and it's going to be 42 cents a day. The, the year you're going to spend with us here. So it's totally in your budget. It's totally affordable um, when you break it down at that daily price. Mm -hmm. So right. people have been asking if TechRap is at 143. It is not. Oh, I'm pressing stuff. I hope I we um, actually had to order it from the TechRap yeah. vinyl website. Yes. Um, I'm not sure if it's available. It's still on Canada. Amazon. I think. It, they yeah. do have it on Amazon. You can get it on Amazon. Um, and we will add, we can add a link to Tech Wrap Vinyl yeah. um, after the live onto totally. the link down. We can link it down below for you guys. Yeah, we changed our vinyl last minute, if we're being honest. We did. Um, we, we wanted to, we, wa we really wanted to do something fun. So you guys are getting to enjoy it. All right, look at this paper. This is 12 by 12. You only need one 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock to do this project, which is cool. Um, for the box. So, how many of us are scared to do the box? Like, come in. Watch. I put the paper on the mat. We're loading it in. We're going to change the setting, the material setting, to... Let's look what options we got under cardstock. We're going to use heavy cardstock, 100 pounds. And we're going to press done. And we are going to change our tool. So, it's automatically going to think we are using the double scoring tool. So let's click edit and we're going to click scoring stylus. Okay. Do y'all see that? Scoring stylus. Mm -hmm. um, so it's super awesome. 
click apply, and now let's watch it cut. Yes, tech wrap from Amazon Prime Days. You guys are awesome. That was a great deal they had. So you know they'll probably bring some back. Yay! So, super fun. Let's see. Who All won right. yesterday's giveaway? It was Gretchen Williamson. Williamson. Yay! And I've been trying to tag her to see if she's been she's in here. the chat. And I don't think she Mary has Mary Kate, been. you can totally sell this for $5. Oh, for sure. Totally $5 worth. Now, let's talk about other events Makers Can Learn is going to have coming up. There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot. We do have a lot. We, if you're here and you're like, I don't want this to end, the party's so good, I'm just going to give you all, like, you know, we're real here. That's what you all love about us. Uh, number one, sublimation course updates coming. Number two, make section of Design Make Sell is coming out on Monday. That is so good. Um, number three, we have our new website. We have spent 11 months. Yeah. 11 months months in development yeah which is well worth it like i'm so proud so happy so excited to launch this new site for the members we will be celebrating all of these things this month those three now we will be having our black friday extravaganza i want to invite you to it it is not an hour crafting with us it is an hour it is uh it's from 11 to 4 i believe Something like that. Yeah. Um, it's, so it's like six hours long. Um, so it's super fun. And then on Black Friday night, I do an after party. Because the, because the craft day is not good enough. We go to my house. We have an after party for like two hours. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Welcome Sherry into Makers Gonna Sublimate. Yay! Um, so that's our Black Friday. And then the party doesn't end there. No. In December, the week after Christmas... We have another beginner boot camp, which is awesome. And then what you will get as well is our New Year's event, which if you haven't been to the New Year's event, so good. Oh my god! It's my favorite event. Our New Year's event was so big last year. Yeah. We had so many. I think we had the most yeah. people live that we've ever had ever on had. our New Year's event last year. So we are shooting for more this year. Yes. Make sure you are there. Yeah, be um, there. Yeah. So good. Um, if you are a Design Make Sell Pro member uh, or student, you do get the update. So no yes. worries. All right. All right. So everybody that's scared of these boxes, like just let's craft. Let's go overhead. We're peeling the excess off. Beautiful. We're going to take this. Megan, we have not officially set a date for the website. Uh, no. We, we don't. We will be <clears throat> We will you be know. hopefully very soon. Yes. But it is in its last final stages yeah, of development. Yeah, we are like to the auditing site and like yeah. actually testing functions and things like that, which is super, super exciting. Um, so I'm super pumped. So here's our box. Now, if you everybody's scared about using a box, like there's nothing to, to fret about. Um, it's super, super for? easy. I love it. Found this. Okay. Lost my ATG for a second. So look here. You have these beautiful, beautiful score lines. All we're going to do before touching our glue is fold our lines in. Now, you don't have to have a, a bone folder, but a lot of you are going to be getting this beautiful new burnishing tool. So you can click here, or just click here. You can burnish with it. It's awesome. If you're a grandfathered in member, you can email us and be like, hey, I, want, I would like the free gifts. Can I have the free gifts? You have to have been grandfathered in, though. So if you're grandfathered in, you can get these gifts, too. Just like an extra gift. Even if you're already a member, email customer care, hi at makersgoldlearn.com. But if you are considering membership today, again, I cannot guarantee these gifts will be around. So if you want to be able to get the book and a mystery gift, could be what I'm using right now, um, you definitely want to get in today. I can only guarantee you by end of day. All right, friends? Yes. Chelsea also asked if I recently purchased the sublimation um, class, we will automatic will we automatically get the updates? Yes. Yes, you will be getting those yes. updates. Okay, so look, we, we did that. How awesome. Set this to the side. R rinse and repeat for this one. Fold it in. Top. Fold this in. Top. So how this goes, you fold this in, fold this in, fold this in, boom. And then, you know, it all kind of goes together. So we'll, I'll walk you through the building process. Super simple. This is like, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, is it really that easy? I love boxes. I've been making boxes since 2010. 
you'll be able to make boxes until 2045. All right, so here we go. Now we have our box. So first of all, we need to connect all of these little flaps. They need to be connected. You see that? Do you guys see how they just go here? So it's really easy. I like to fold them all in. And then you can use hot glue here if you do not have an HEG gum. Do not make the HEG hold you back. If you're asking me which one's stronger, the, the hot glue gun would probably be stronger. The ATG gun for paper crafting would be more proper. Does that make sense? Y'all picking up. So mm -hmm. look, we take this. It's very forgivable ATG, so I had a little extra. Flap it over, and then just like so. That's part of our box. Now, take this here. I like to usually do the ATG all at once, but I forgot to do that because I was talking. But then look at this. We got our ATG, fold it here. Love, love, love it. Um, and then we, on this side, I can do both at once. So like, look at that. So like, look, we're gonna do ATG here, and then we're gonna do ATG over here, and we'll combine it all at one time, which is awesome. So look, inside here, so good. Now, while we have this, I'm going to go flip this this way, Run ATG over here. And actually, I might pull out the hot glue gun because it will be easier with the way that we built this. Um, so it really, you could really use either one you would like. So, so we've had some questions. Yes. Um, asking about building. weight at the cardstock yep. uh, for the cardstock uh, at Hobby Lobby. I would say, generally speaking, most 12 by 12 cardstock, and correct me if I'm wrong, but most, most, not all, most 12 by 12 cardstock runs at about an 80 weight, right? Some gets down to 65. I do not feel like 3D projects can be adequate at 65 no. pound weight. So be careful when you're picking. And if you're buying cardstock that does not mention the weight, um, like from your local craft store, you are just going to have that trouble because they usually sell that lighter weight cardstock. Yes. Um, I recommend buying cardstock from somewhere that you can learn what that weight is. Okay. So we also had somebody ask, is the new website just for members? So the new website is for everyone, but you're not going to be able to access the whole website if you are not a member. Yeah, you really, you know, don't use the website near as much if you're not a member. Um, so yes, it is a lot of new member functions. Like the font area, y'all, who is it? Like. Yeah. What is it, you know? Mm -hmm. So notice I'm going to try to add all my adhesive here. And this sometimes can be a challenge, but it actually helps a lot if you're able to get all your adhesive on and then build it. Sometimes, it, depending on the project, you can't do that. But, well, it also help if I put it on the right way. So I put it on the wrong side. A lot of us, if, we, if I had done that with hot glue, my paper's ruined. With ATG, so look at my finger and look at my ATG. This is shocking. I'll show you all. I know you may not be able to see it. My cardstock is unharmed. That was all the ATG that I just pulled up. My cardstock is not un, like is not ruined. I made a mistake, and my project is not suffering from it, and that is a blessing. So, let's go ahead and remove it from this side. So somebody said that the cardstock linked below was a 65. I that was on. That's on me. I just. Uh, just link the normal. recollections because we really like the recollections. We love card it. Stock. Yeah. Um, but let me find you a higher weight yes. card stock and I love will have it. someone add it to the description. Love it. We'll get that added. But guys, you can just, you know, start looking at that. See, that's a great catch. Like, don't automatically assume, you know, your, your weights and things like that, which can sometimes happen, um, which can be frustrating. So, yeah, you'll, the more paper crafting you do, the more specific you get. And you will find a time that you become a paper snob. And I hate to say that, I, that but mm -hmm. I definitely am a paper snob. So you also, with this one, you're gonna wanna look into, with, with the box, I don't think it really makes that box. big of a difference. If it's color core or white yeah. core. Um, so you could use white core on this. 
that would work just as well. Lock core's fine. That's a great yeah. question. We do get questions about lock core and stuff. I don't worry about that near as much as I worry about weight and whatnot, um, but some projects you do need to worry about that. But if there is a time that you need like solid core, white core, et cetera, here, we would specify that. So yay, look at this. All right, so the HEG is very fast drying. That's why I like using it. Um, it's very sturdy, it's very stable. And it's really, really, really awesome. So look, guys, that's your beautiful box. Come on. What is Design Make Cell Pro compared to Design Make Cell? Purchase Design Make Cell, and it was supposed to be a one time. Um, am I per supposed to purchase something else? So, Crystal, previously, Design Make Cell, you could buy Design, you could buy Cell, or you could go Pro, which gets you everything. So, if you're Pro, you get all the updates. If you bought just Design or just Cell, um, which you cannot previously or currently do, it, is, it got too confusing. You are, it is a one program, like one. Like you go pro or you don't purchase, right? Uh, we simplified it this year, which is all. It's been very helpful. Um, so yay. All right. Now, we have our tile here. We have our vinyl, which disappeared. It's right here. Mm -hmm. We have our transfer tape here. I'm just going to open this up. I'm going to cut off a little bit. Right there. Yay. So... Um, people are saying that they can't find the weight on the paper studio. Let yeah, me you're just go online and let me see if I can figure it out. So for a you lot guys. of these papers are not like ho like Hobby Lobby does not give uh, a lot of paper. What I can tell you, though, the more advanced you get as a paper crafter, you're gonna be able to pick up the weight and say, oh, it's 65, oh, it's 85, oh, it's 100, oh, it's 110. So just get ready to like get accustomed to that if you become a true paper crafter, right? Would now, you glue I will acetate? Say this. I would glue it if you wanted to. Yes, we are, did not today. Yes, what? Um, the cardstock that you're going to get, like just the individual sheets of cardstock from Hobby Lobby, just thinking back, it's pretty flimsy. Oh, it's super so thin. So it's that's going to be what your 65 is. Normally, I would think your Some 80. Some of the scrapbooking paper at like individual sheets at Hobby Lobby is way lower than that. Mm -hmm. because the goal is to be putting in those scrapbook pages. Like, it's not for 3D projects, it's not for this, it's not for that. Mm -hmm. um, so it's super fun. But yay! Yeah, you can really tell by the feel of the paper. That's so true. All right, Lauren, look at this. <gasps> look at this! Oh, I hope I can't see. my gosh. I'll go back to the video. Oh my gosh. Boom. Is it doing it? Boom. It did it. I mean, mm. look at this. Just go burnish her down. This is so good. We did it, guys. We did it. Yeah. <gasps> we did oh it. Now I've got the door song. I know. Again. Dora, Dora, Dora. <laughs> the Explorer. I love the hard lines. Lauren was telling me, you know, a lot of times we do the the rounded lines, but oh my gosh. That looks lines, better than the original. It, it looks like it was always like this. Yeah. That's insane. So somebody did ask us, um, if I am already a member, yeah. how do I get the Cricut Reference Guide? If you have already, if you are already grandfathered in, yes. then you need to email customer service. We have a running list, yep. and we're going to be sending out those even to the people who are already grandfathered in that has emailed in. If you're not sure if you're grandfathered in, email you them still and need to email you. customer service. They yeah. will check for you. If you are not, you can go ahead and get grandfathered in yes, Sadie's at our drop lowest that link. price. Woohoo! Um, right now. Yep. So, and you get the free gift. You get the you get best the free deal. Gift. You get the lowest price, the best deal, and the free gift, which we have never done before. So we are just so, so excited. I cut about four or five inches of glue here, and I'm just gluing this down. And look at this. We have got this beautiful ornament. Bada -bing, bada -boom. I love it. Is this not adorable, y'all? I'm going to let this cool down. I love like the snowflake. Oh. That's that's giving me more snowflake vibe yeah. than the red and green. Yeah. The blue and that. Oh my gosh, Lauren. Mm. So you know we haven't released the theme for the house yet. No, we've not but released the theme. My foster son came downstairs this morning, looking at the tree, which they're obsessed with the tree. <laughs> he said, Tanner, where's the candy canes? <laughs> he said, it needs candy canes. And I said, I said, I said, buddy. You know, each year there's a theme. I yep. said a few years ago I actually did do a, a candy, candy cane, cane theme. theme. Mm -hmm. And I said, this year it's, you know, we're embracing 
X, Y, and Z, like something new. Yeah, but um, we didn't have candy canes on it last year, and he didn't ask, did he? He was just being funny, I okay. think. I, I don't know if his teachers decorate with candy canes, but he was like, you have to have candy canes. Anyway, look at this, y'all. We're going to put it in our box. This was like such an advanced level project, y'all. Like, you did it. We did it together. Y'all. <laughs> that looks so good. I'm obsessed. Y'all, can you sublimate on this top? Oh, that is a good question. So Marissa asked, and I know we had We've somebody had a else lot of ask, people ask, can you sublimate on this top? <laughs> yes, you can. I did it. You did it last week. Last week. <laughs> the exact same tile, mind you, that we have because we had 15 of them. So you can sublimate And I'm sublimate pretty sure we still have pile. four left. After all of the trial and error, you can yeah. sublimate on it. You just have to add a laminate sheet to it and heat press it for quite some time. Ooh, but it watch works. the video. It works, yes. Guys, would customers not mind that the back isn't finished? So if I was selling this and I wanted to like elevate, which means you charge more, right? right. If you're going to elevate and charge more, grab you a thin piece of felt. I was about to say the exact yes! same thing. Thin piece of felt, hot glue, and I would make it the same size as your inset. Cut. No, no, no. I would make it the same size as a towel. So it covers everything. I don't, don't you want... think? So here's my thought. You're if it's afraid the that same it's going to. Let's go push through that back. No. Okay. I'm not my I see when that. you're looking at it on I the tree, that. I don't want to see no fuzzies on the back. I see that. <laughs> so do it the 1.5, the, yeah. the inset. I would. Cut your felt. Yep. Hot glue it onto the back. And that's actually going to keep your uh, uh, ribbon, ribbon in place. In place a lot better as and you, well. And I would hot glue that for sure. Don't yeah. ATG that. Mm -mm. Don't ATG that. You have to hot glue it on this tile. Love or the it's felt idea. Yay! Uh, one thing you can't, I mean, you probably could do. I tried what? it and it didn't work. What? I thought about adding HTV to the back. No. But it didn't work for me. <laughs> Trust me, I tried. That's why we only have it four left. Work. Because we did all the testing. Like, we did all yeah. this. We did all the prep for you. So now that you get mm -hmm. to, I mean, we had, like, y'all, We these cut falls don't come out of thin air. We yeah. had to test the box. We had to test the tile, the cut fall, everything. Um... Um, Heather asked, insert oh. for the box to bring the ornament closer to the window. I actually Wait. added... Uh, Wait, could you put... Let's just see. So this was cut from the box. Could I, hypothetically... Oh, I mean, you could. It still doesn't look great, but you could. You, I don't... The problem with the hot mm. glue is it would be really chunky. Um, the felt would make it look and feel really professional. And I'm talking that yeah. thin felt, that white thin the felt. The very thin felt. Yeah. Ooh, the thin glitter mm, felt. Ooh. The glitter bonded felt. Yes. Okay. Mm. Y'all y'all are picking up what we're sitting down. Yeah. But we know that you all have been showing up and showing out, not only because you love crafting, but because yeah. you want a free Cricut Maker 3. Oh, yeah. How many people do we have? We that's have over 400. 431. 431. So how this works is we pick someone completely at random. So if you would like to purchase makerscolearn.com. <laughs> um, grab your membership today. Um, we would love, love, love to send you your free reference guide. Take advantage of our Black Friday deal. The doorbuster free gift is not going to last long, so you need to grab it while you can. And today, again, I'm confirming you in, but if you are here and you're like, I already have a membership, um, we love Benzie Felt. Yes, Sherry. Yes. Uh, who would like a Cricut Maker Three. Wow, these comments are going to start flying. Leave us an emoji. Leave oh, us uh, a comment. Sadie is diligently oh. going to review the comments, and she's going to bring us over the winner uh, mm -hmm. when she randomly picks someone. So get ready. We're so excited to Yay. give away that. And we love to do live giveaways. We love to do giveaways. This whole week we gave away a sublimation printer, a shoe, a shirt color sublimation printer, um, an iPad. Who did win that? I couldn't tell you. Okay. Um, <laughs> somebody amazing. Yes. She was there on the live and she bought Maker's Gonna Sublimate after she won it. Oh, I said, I said yeah. not to, I said not to call anyone out, but yeah. <laughs> I said because you're gonna need it. <laughs> um, so yes, so we gave away uh, mystery supplies, gift cards. I mean, it's so good. Now remember, if you're a member, make a project period between now and uh, Sunday. By Sunday night, I'll I'll pick on Monday. So mm -hmm. just get it submitted by Sunday. We'll pick someone on Monday. Right. Any project from boot camp, okay? Any project from boot camp, that will be available to you. So I am super, super excited for you guys. It is going to be so fun um, to see you all do these projects. 
Christmas time is here. We are ready. Um, and we want you to take advantage of all that there is to offer, which is all of these amazing projects. It is so good. Mm -hmm. um, again, not next Wednesday, but the next Wednesday, the sublimation updates come out. So the, I believe it's the 16th. It is the 16th. Um, so you've got to be here. Yes. It's such a good day. We're going to go over these updates. Lauren hosted them. Um, uh -huh. So we'll go over that, me and her. Um, you'll have 100 new files to that program. You get 200 and Maker's going to sublimate exclusive to Maker's going to sublimate, yeah. um, which we're super excited about. When you say yes to Maker's going to sublimate. Yay. Oh my gosh, so many great uh, comments. Do we have, oh my goodness, we're, we potentially, potentially. have, we're, we're, we need in-ears. Like we could be like, we potentially have someone. <laughs> we, we, have, we have someone on, yes, yes. Oh okay, that's what we do. Okay, need. are you ready? Oh, Sadie is leaving the producing chair. She is standing up. She is shaking Here she comes. a sticky note. She has the name. Y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sadie. Oh, say hi. hi. Yes. Hello. Are you ready? Drum roll. Ooh. Michelle Gonzalez. Yes. Yay. Congratulations, Love Michelle. It. Congratulations, Michelle Gonzalez. We are so excited. Oh, my goodness. You have won a Cricut Maker 3 today on our beautiful show. And we are so excited for you. You're amazing. Um, so all you need to do, email hi at makerisgonnalearn.com with your best shipping address. We will get that out to you. Oh, I love everyone saying hi, Sadie. Everybody's oh, kissing up to is. Sadie. There she is. <laughs> I love it. Go, Michelle. Uh, I'm going to tag her and she's not even going to see it. Michelle knows. Michelle, she has a very long middle name. Gonzalez, you won. So yay, go ahead, email hi at makersgonlearn.com. Guys, this is so fun. I love this community and I keep giving stuff away because even when someone doesn't win that day, they're, they're yeah. so, so supportive. I know. Like y'all are so good. Love it. <laughs> that is so fun. Well, headed to Lowe's, Cindy Ann's headed to Lowe's. I'm telling you, those tiles, they're, they're where it's at. We did have somebody, I wanted to- Yeah, uh, let's address some, it. Some, some options. Yeah. So somebody said, if I were going to sell these, like how could I bring this tile closer to the front? Mm -hmm. First of all, if I was going to sell them, I would take, I think it was April the said acetate. something about acetate. And Gail, yeah. Gail and April said to get some acetate. I Love would do that. that, cut a square out, add it to this front. But how cute would it be if you got some polyfill Ooh. just to put in the bottom and then you had your snowflake so it looked yeah. like fake snow around it and then <sighs> like laid it down in the polyfill. Now, I will say, speaking of which, we... In our project, which we should have done that, we have acetate. I didn't even think about it. There is a layer that you watch me delete out when you rewatch this that is already sized. For that. Yes. For the acetate mm -hmm. and for the backing. Yes. So either way, it is super good. So yay, you all are awesome. Yes, it is so, so fun. Yay. Donna, thank you, thank you, thank you. How do you get the tiles apart? You just um, rip it off. You just pull them. It's really not hard. It's not hard. Like they're like the glue on. It's that, like old. It's like it. It the glue. It's glued down to mesh, but yeah. you just literally pull it up and. Yep. Meow. Yep. 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 It is so good. I went to Lowe's last night. Yay, Kathy! I love Yay. it. Well, guys, what did you think of boot camp? We had so much fun hosting you. It is so much fun, and we don't want the conversation to end. So remember, new member, get registered. Link first yep. link down below. Pinned comment. If you're an existing member going yearly, um, monthly members, click the regular link. Mm -hmm. Year members, if you're already a year member, click the Black Friday Extension member question mark link. Yeah. It's the second one. Uh, Maker's going to sublimate. $70 off. No coupon code needed. Love it. Mystery gift um, and cheat sheet. So good. Uh, Design Make Sell, $50 off. DMS. Any of your promotions that we have. Uh, Maker, you in there too if you need to grab a deal. Uh -huh. uh, I loved it. So sad it was over. Yes. Oh my gosh. This has been so much fun. It has been a great week. And I want to see you make the project. So get a membership. Get to crafting. Post it by Sunday night. $100 Amazon gift card going to be announced in the group on Monday. Yay. Yes. <gasps> get ready for your reference guides to come in, y'all. And again, we got a lot we got of shipping. We got a lot to ship. It's so awesome. Love it. Listen, if we weren't working and getting the shipping, we we are getting a full shipping department. Yeah. If you all were here last year, you all talked about, I, I <laughs> joked around how Lauren I was head was and workers and everything of the shipping department. We are 
now I'm getting a grew full 12, 1300 square feet. Yeah. Uh, we're finishing that out. We're getting a little bit better distribution. Mm -hmm. uh, so that'll be awesome. This yeah. was really fun. Yay. It's Michelle's birthday today. Get out of town. I can't. I literally can't even Sadie, believe that. How, how does Sadie do it? She just does it. Lindsay's asking out the price on this craft. I would at least five dollars. Five dollars minimum. Minimum. If you're gonna do more fonts and things like that, if it's getting more complicated, yeah, I would go eight to ten easy. If it was personalized. Yeah, personalized mm -hmm. eight to ten. Oh my gosh, Michelle. Oh, I love that. Yeah. It is so good. That is unbelievable. Yeah. So Black Friday will be hosted on the YouTube channel. Just uh, that will be scheduled out shortly. Mm -hmm. um, you'll see that will be. Well, you'll know about it. Just look you're, for it. I, we promise we'll you're talk gonna know about, about it. it. We, yeah. we, me and Lauren don't have any problem about talking about stuff. We so. talk about everything. <laughs> oh, you guys are awesome. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. What a great show. What a great week. Yes. I just want to bless all the technology. I was thinking about that. Like, yeah. it has been so good just to be able to hang out with you all. Are you going to be selling Makers Learn merch? Kathy, not at this moment. Uh, we're trying to go better than merch. Well, <laughs> we're not selling merch, but yeah, there's we've some got cool things. some we got cool some things, things coming, coming that. It's going to be great. Yeah. Doing my first and want to know how many bring their makers and laptop for personalized gifts. Okay. So you're doing your first craft show. show. Doing my oh first my show. Goodness. Wanted to know how many bring their makers and laptops for, pers for personalized. Ah, personally, if you, depends on your ability, right? If you are a one person show, I would not have the cricket to do that because you need to focus on treating people well and showing up yes. at your booth. Mm -hmm. If you have two or three people that you can be like, hey, take a little lap around, I'll make this for you real fast, mm -hmm. that would be great. Um, but I would focus on selling your existing supply and getting custom orders on your docket. Mm -hmm. uh, craft shows are really hard at times because it depends on a lot of outside variables to your success. You could be the best seller you are, but show up to a, a poorly marketed craft fair mm -hmm. and make no money. Right. So if you're interested in making money while you're with your family, consider an Etsy store and learn about Design Make Sell, link down below. Uh, so that's super fun. It is awesome. So when does the sell end for Design Make Sell? It is still available, Lindsay. You can take advantage of that throughout November, but it depends on availability for the printed and shipped workbooks. That mm -hmm. offer, that bonus can be taken away. So if you want it, get in now because that's a big value. Um, we would love to bless you with. So yay, newbie! Oh my gosh, we'll rewatch some of these other boot camps. We'll be back uh, next week with more live streams, so it'll be a lot of fun. You're going to see a lot of us over yeah. the next two months. Like, this is oh, our time yeah. to shine. I'm adding in, you can see them scheduled, 9 p.m. live streams on Thursday nights. So not every Thursday, but quite a few Thursdays in the month of November. You can hang out with me, 9 p.m., um, we'll have great conversations, great chats, um, and super fun. So yay! yay. Um, I'm doing my first show. So excited. Yay! Oh my gosh, you'll crush it. You will learn something even if it is not successful sales-wise. You will learn something. And yes. Chances are it may motivate you to do something different, which right. you will learn. So yeah. love it. Oh my goodness. You all are awesome. Uh, Love it. Yay, Patty! She said she had canceled her Etsy shop because she wasn't getting sales. Then she worked with us, and now she has got made a sale. Go, Patty! Way to go. Love it. Y'all are awesome. I think it's awesome. So anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. Take advantage of these deals before end of day. If you're on the fence, and we'll see you back here next week. Bye, Bye.